So let's go ahead and just start with our grounding for this evening. <sighs> just going ahead and bringing ourselves into center. Following your breath, becoming aware of your breath. And today, as we breathe into our pineal gland and activate our Merkaba field, as you breathe that down the central channel, out your tailbone and into the center of the earth, we know this is the 12th dimensional shield. This, we know that this is really giving us access into the heart of the planet Earth. But now I'm going to invite you to expand yourself as we start to learn a little bit this evening about our, our 12 tree grid, which is our larger chakra system. This is more of our galactic chakra system. That your first chakra is the core of the Earth. <sighs> So as you send that Merkaba star down into the core of the earth, allow yourself to sense and feel that this is your larger root center. This is a part of your, your chakra system, which means that it is an access point for you holding your information, holding your memories, holding resources for you to tap into. It's your galactic root center, which allows you a greater sense of grounding as you ground into the earth. We're going to expand in order to start to feel our larger galactic body. And you can imagine that your feet, your feet are rooted and grounded right into the core of planet earth. And as you breathe that plasma shield up, feel it moving up your, your root center, your column, all the way up into a platform underneath your physical feet. But in truth, it's as if you're so rooted into the center, the core of the earth, that the earth is now your aura. She is your protective shield that is spinning around you, that is protecting you, that is creating a force field of energy around you all the way out into her atmosphere, all the way around her, that is allowing you to travel through space. She is your larger planetary body. As you connect out, out, and reach out to the solar logos, reach out to the sun, And breathe that breath all the way up and in. Breathe it up through your feet. Breathe it up through your tailbone all the way up into your heart. Let it mix with the plasma light of your heart. And as you breathe up again, breathe up that heart light up into your pineal gland. And on your next exhale, sending that breath out. And as you send that breath out, you're going to send it all the way out your solar star. So there's like a soul star up above your head, about a foot above your head. And even while you're meditating, I'm going to invite you to take your hands in a prayer form up above your head. And as you take your hands in a pr prayer form up above your head, where your hands are in prayer, in connection with each other, feel that is where your soul is actually resting and sitting, observing you. 
It is your connection to your higher self and it is the aspect of you that is basically driving the vehicle that you're in in this lifetime. And I want you just to imagine it's your eye of God, it's your higher self intuition right above you. And that from this place on the next breath out, just breathing it all the way out into the central sun. And that breathes through our solar logos, through our solar, so through our sun and out the core of our sun through the portal and out into the larger aspects of the galaxies and out into the central sun. And as you acknowledge that, noticing all of our other brother and sister galaxies out there. And just as you notice all of these brother and sister galaxies out there, we are just going to say hello to the galaxy of Andromeda, which is our sister galaxy, which we are connected with, that we are actually a part of, and where many of our higher stations of our council are guiding and assisting us from. Many of us are residing there in our future forms. And from the galactic core, since last year, since December especially, we have now been opening up to Harmonic Universe 6, which is dimensions 16, 17, and 18. Currently, we have been working with the highest level being 13, 14, and 15, which has been the mother arc, the father arc energy, and the Christos energy. The tri-founder waves, the gold ray, the blue ray, and the magenta violet ray that has been manifesting this reality. And since last year, that new gateway has actually opened up into the higher heavens, and we have access now into the higher dimensional realms of 16, 17, and 18, and just feel the God codes just tingling as they're moving down your column, just opening yourself to receive like a straw straight to the heavens, beginning to receive whatever new codes or fire letters or blueprints that you are ready to awaken into. And you may feel the crown of your head physically tingling, expanding, opening, as if it is just birthing open like a new womb to receive even more of the seeds of our creator universe. And from this place, call upon your higher self. And command within your own space and your own spirit, I command of my higher self to please monitor all codes, all lights and information that enter into my body. I command that only that which is in my highest vibration, only that which is in the law of one and only that which is in resonance of my highest good in divine love and right order is able to penetrate and enter into my field. Higher self, pull all of these new light codes into my body and arrange them into my body so that my body can grow and expand into my higher level of consciousness that I am ready to receive now. Higher self, expand my light bodies around me in order to accommodate the new light frequencies that are coming through me and allow me to be able to hold this new resonance and plasma frequencies into this dimensional realm and anchor it into the earth mother as the divine would have it be. Higher self, I command that all light frequencies in my body that have been manipulated, hijacked, or used for any type of manipulation or in order to distract me in any way, shape, or form. 
I command in this moment that they be deactivated and dissolved with the new higher light frequencies that are filtering through my body. Now I command that they all be dissolved and pull them from me. Now I am complete with them now. And so it is. Allowing yourself to breathe in the cosmic breath. that the cosmic breath is actually light. It is not oxygen that we think of here on planet Earth. Oxygen is just one of its many expressions, but within the universe, we breathe in light. And as we make our declaration of intention, we can hold this beautiful space of all of these light codes. I want you just to notice if they had a movement, if they had a feeling, if they had a color, what is your higher self filtering into you now? And as we make our declaration of intention, we declare from the core of our heart, our intention to serve our source. We align ourselves fully and completely to the heart of the one infinite creator. We dedicate this life to being our true heart song across all the cosmos. We surrender our ego now to be in service to the law of one mission of first cause light as a pillar of light. In the light of truth, we declare and intend we are that we are. I am that I am. I am a soul sovereign being, and so it is. And as you take another deep breath, allow those high vibrational cosmic frequencies from the higher universe to begin to trickle down as it moves through the primal sound field of the blue ray, the gold ray, and the magenta violet ray that we have been so familiar with. And as it filters down into that, notice how it is upgrading those frequencies. It is connecting us with the solar Rishi from the higher heavens. And as you bring that down, just imagine breathing it down. As we breathe it down, not only are we breathing it down so it, it's coming from the core and it's reaching us to our position within the galaxy, within the universe, but it's also breathing down. We're breathing it down the dimension. So we're breathing it down into the fifth harmonic universe and then down into the fourth harmonic universe of 10, 11, and 12th dimension of the Christos avatar. So we're breathing it down into our Christos avatar God self as we breathe it down within the rays and frequencies of Kristala. Ka, Ra, Ya, Sa, Ta, A, La. Ka, Ra, Ya, Sa, Ta, A, La. Ka, Ra, Ya, Sa, Ta, A, La. And breathing that down again into our oversoul avatar identity of dimensions seven, eight, and nine, stepping it down. This is the vibrational frequency that many visit within past life regressions or soul journeys where you enter the cloud field of your unified consciousness fields. Many times we don't choose to take a physical form within our oversoul identity. And so imagining, sensing, and feeling, bringing those new vibrations and codes down into this level of your identity to that place of unity, that place where everything is telepathic, that place where all you are connected with just feels unity and love. From this field, you feel your purpose, you feel your divine 
essence, you feel your divinity of who you are as a purpose, as a ray of essence that you came into this reality to be. And at the same time, there's still an essence or a, an awareness of the higher God realms that we live fully and completely in service within this ray and frequency. Our oversoul is absolutely without a doubt completely committed to being in service to the divine creation, to being in service to the core, to being in service to our creators, to being in service to the divine law of one. This is the place we connect to that there is no doubt in who we are. We are who we are. There is never a question. From this realm, we are at the level of understanding and beyond of what even the elementals have. When we think of fire, fire knows who fire is. Fire never wakes up in the morning and doubts, who am I? What is my purpose? Fire always knows who fire is. Breathe that into your heart, your crystalline heart, your heart in your physical form, in your heart within your larger sphere of your Kathara body that reaches and extends through entire universe is actually holding all of these records. So right now you are anchoring your memories back down into the physical form. And on the next breath, breathe that down, down into your soul matrix of the fourth dimension, fifth dimension, and sixth dimension. You can start to feel the density in this realm. This is a realm where you are in physical form, in many physical forms, in parallel realities, in different timelines. You are in many, many physical forms. And we are going backwards in time as we move down the dimensions. So these are still the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimensions are still aspects of your future self. And just notice what impressions come to you. There may be an aspect of you that is on a ship. There may be an aspect of you that is on a planet. There may be an aspect of you that is in a different type of luminous body or luminous form. And it doesn't matter, just whatever the first impressions are, but just knowing from this realm, there are still different levels of polarity that can exist within the second harmonic universe. But this is the level of our galactic alliance. This is where when we are connecting with our guardian races, with the guardian alliance, when we are connecting with the interdimensional federation of worlds, when we are connecting with our different advanced races who are living in service to the law of one mission, this is the harmonic universe that they are, are anchoring in in order to connect with us. So feel yourself within this realm. Because many of those within the Galactic Federation or Alliance um, are actually aspects of you. Some are those of part of your soul family, but some are actually you. And from this vibration, I'm going to start to invite you to tap into Notice that from even in this realm, there's a sense of mission, there's a sense of urgency, there's a sense of something that we need to do, there's a sense of being very, very, very aware of what is going on within the galaxy, going on within the planets, and allow yourself to just notice from that vibration, what are you picking up, because this is actually part of your soul mission and your resonant frequency that you've been feeling in this lifetime. So if it's a sense of urgency, if it's a sense of balance, if it's a sense of 
being an ambassador or a teacher of the light, that there's still an essence to it. Even when we hold the essence or the vibration of teacher or guide, there's still a sense of seeking those that are searching for what you have to share. And in all of it, notice how underneath all of it, that there is really the underneath core in your heart and in your gut, which is your emotional heart, that in that aspect of you, that there is an, a, a yearning, a desire, almost, almost just a heartache to share the divine light that you have stepped down all the way from the core. And as you've stepped it down, there's almost this pain of, of love in your heart that you ache to be able to share it, to infuse it with this planet once again. Now from the second harmonic universe, I'm going to ask you to take that leap down into the first harmonic universe. And I just want you to feel, I want you to feel whatever comes up. For some, it might be excitement. I can't wait to get down into that harmonic universe to help. For some, it's anxiousness. For some, it's a knowing that it might not be very easy. For some, it might be a feeling of almost apprehension or, oh, I don't know if I want to do this again. Just, just notice there's no judgment in any of it, but just to notice as you bring this awareness, what's going on in your body and bring yourself and bring your awareness all the way down into the first harmonic universe, the third dimension, the second dimension, and the first dimension. And notice that you're inhabiting within each of them, but your consciousness has now anchored into a physical form. And I want you to just to notice your physical form, the identity avatar that you are, whoever your name is, whoever you are operating is, as in this lifetime, just notice your body. And as you step into your body, as you go in to bring those new light codes that you've brought all the way from the galactic core, Notice where your body may be holding resistance as you allow your hands to be just at the top of your head one more time, just for a moment to feel that spot anchor all of those light codes right into that eighth chakra above your head. And let your hands extend out as a globe of light and extend it as big as you want. Because what you're doing is you're making a crystalline container to hold all of the new light codes. So expand that chakra and ask your higher self, higher self, I command now to, to create my eighth chakra to the appropriate calibration to hold all of the new, new light codes that I have just brought down from the galactic core into this density so that they may be able to be received by my physical form and expressed through me as a prayer of love and light into this density, this physicality to this earth and this reality that I may be the living light, the pillar of first cause light that I came here to be. And with that breath, imagine bringing it through the crown of your head and I want you to anchor it into your pineal gland for a moment. And for a moment, and then I want you to teleport your consciousness back into your first sphere. So your root, your galactic root chakra within the core of the earth. And I want you to really ground yourself in that energy. Like your feet are just dissolving in the plasma field of that. You are so grounded in the earth that you are the earth. And I want you to imagine that coming up around your body. So that you can ground your body in order to be a grounded conduit for these new high vibrational frequencies that are about to just drop all the way down into your body so that you can actually express them out your hands and out your heart chakra, out your third chakra, second chakra, and first chakra of your, your base body chakras. So now taking those codes from your pineal gland, take another breath, and as you exhale, breathe it in to your throat. 
Higher self, I command that anything that is in my throat that does not belong to me, any limitations or any stranglings within my throat chakra that have ever kept me from speaking my voice or speaking the voice of my higher self, I command that all of this be reversed and revoked from my space now, dissolve it from me now. I command that this center, the fifth chakra, is now the voice box of my higher self. I dedicate myself to the voice of my higher self to speak the truth in this reality of our divine creation. I anchor my higher self and my truth into my physical form now. My fifth chakra now, higher self, is dedicated to the voice of the divine. I command this now and so it is. And as you take that next breath of dropping that down, drop that beautiful new light codes and frequencies into your heart. And I want you just to bring all of your awareness to the back, your back, the back of your body. And just notice, is it as bright as the front of your body? Does it feel as open or is it more closed? Just to notice whether or not there is a balance flow between and command of your higher self to calibrate your heart chakra appropriately front and back in order for you to be able to emanate and reflect the divine cosmic codes from the core of our universe and our higher heaven so that it may be expressed with every loving word you speak, every loving thought you express, every loving act that you create, that it is now infused with these light codes. And just notice your body. Do you have a pressure in your chest? Do you have a pressure in your lungs? Does it feel as though there is some compression in there in any way, shape or form? As we just bring a divine clearing, to our higher self, we command that you scan our heart chakra now. And as you scan our heart chakra now, please identify, locate, remove, and repair any beings who have ever tethered into our heart, who have ever siphoned from us, any place where we have ever been a gas station or a fueling station for another person so that they would feel loved, they would feel supported, or they would feel as though they were getting the energy that they needed. In this very moment, higher self, I am asking now for you to pull all light fibers that are not in the highest alignment of God's source light, any reversal light, any dead light energy, any implants, any super impositions, any spells or any curses or any entity attachments or spirit attachments in this very moment. We are infusing the higher dimensional realms of light into this area and we command that anything within our space that is not of our higher self and not of our higher stations of identity that we are commanding all of it to be removed. Identify, locate, remove and repair. And all of it has the right now to return back to living light and God source light or to return to wherever it came from. Just from your loving heart, you are giving it the choice that it can choose doorway one or doorway two but it has no right to be within your heart center any longer. You are reclaiming your heart center now as the true galactic conduit and core within your physical form, that this is actually your gateway back to God's source and you are reclaiming it to only house the divine love of God's source within you, the creator realms of your higher dimensional aspects. And in this moment, higher self, we ask that any place that we have felt wounded, that we have felt unloved, that we have felt small, that we have felt as though we didn't deserve love, as though we didn't deserve to be here, as though we didn't deserve or we're not worthy to be loved, to be seen or to be appreciated any way, shape or form where we felt less than in any way. Please identify, locate, and remove and repair all of these limiting beliefs within to our higher self and our Christ avatar God self. We say in this very I am present moment of now, we are complete with that. 
And from your heart, affirm if you are ready to let that go. Are you ready to let go of every limitation that you have ever placed upon yourself or every place that you've ever felt as though you didn't deserve to be doted upon, loved upon, adored, receive compliments, receive gifts, receive abundance, receive praise, receive recognition. Any place that you've ever felt an apprehension or a shyness towards another person acknowledging you, loving you, rising you up and celebrating you. Find that place within that did not feel that that was something you were worthy of or deserved and allow yourself, just ask yourself, find that seed in there and are you ready to pull it from me now? And you command your higher self and you with your words saying, higher self, I am complete with that, pull it from me now. And from the heart, we are going to move to the tip of our lower Merkaba. And you're going to just drop your awareness to your root chakra. And as you drop your awareness to your root chakra, this is the top of your lower Merkaba. And I want you just to allow the earth sphere energy to come up into there. And from this sphere and from this place, notice how you feel. Are you okay welcoming bright divine light into that space? Or is there a feeling of I don't belong or I don't, this planet isn't my planet. I don't belong here. This family isn't my family. I don't belong here. I feel lost here. I feel orphaned. I feel abandoned. Just notice any places where there's been any sort of feeling of you and them. Lack of safety. This is the center that if there was any level of insecurity within the first seven years of your life, if there was any feeling of not feeling true compassionate love from your parents, true support being provided for, if there was any traumatic experiences, any types of trauma or abuse that happened in there, that this is the center that shuts down because we immediately create the belief that we are not safe. And this is where our instincts take over. This is where the reptilian mind exists. So first we are going to softly, gently soften and open these areas with the plasma field from the core of the earth. So your galactic root center, you're gonna breathe that up into your physical root center. And just Breathe that in and allow it and just ask your higher self, higher self, I ask that all the fear, the trauma, the insecurity, the feelings of not feeling safe, the feelings of panic, the feelings of a heightened adrenal system, the feelings of my limbic system going out of control, being on high alert, walking on eggshells, overly empathic, overly sensitive, reading the sensations, feelings, and moods of others because we need to feel safe and therefore we actually observe others in order to read them so we know whether or not we're safe. That is empathy out of control. And just bringing that in and higher self, all of these emotions, all of these feelings, Acknowledging that the base energy of the body did not know any better at those young ages. And in this moment, bringing our higher self consciousness, our Christ avatar God consciousness into the sphere. And from our higher stations of identity, we acknowledge that all of this was the best way that we knew how to survive in this world until we reconnected with our memories. But now we are bringing ourselves home. We are safe, 
We are safe. 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 And just breathe that soft energy up into it. And we're going to breathe that up because now it's starting to put pressure onto the second chakra. And as you breathe that up into your, your body's second chakra, right into your womb area, just sensing and feeling whether or not it feels comfortable as a safe creative basin to express divine cosmic energy, or does it feel scared or paranoid or shut down or clogged with other people's energy? This much like the throat center and the heart center are places where other people tend to plug into us and take our energy, or if we've ever shared our energy with another, through energetic or physical sexual energy, this is where tethering comes in. So just find within yourself. This is a place that feels undernourished if it is not loved and held and supported. It feels separate from others. So it has an identity of love, but not an identity of knowing how to cohabitate or share this love in a community as like a family or a group. It feels isolated and alone when it is clogged or shut down. So in this moment, we're just going to notice what's in there, just observing it and bringing that beautiful earth energy up into it. This is all the years of panic. This is all the years, especially from the years of seven years old to 14 years old, where we are now trying to create an identity as an individual and connect with our peers, connect with our groups, connect with maybe love interests. And so there's insecurity, there's sadness, there's maybe even a feeling of being taken from. And so just allow all of that and higher self and just asking your higher self, higher self that in this moment, please identify, locate, remove and repair any dissident energies within this field that are residues from a past timeline that have been holding any frequencies of lower vibrations, of fear, of insecurity, of panic, of lack of of being undernourished, undernourished with love, undernourished with food, undernourished with energy, undernourished with support, undernourished with being acknowledged or loved by others. Any place where there has been any sort of sadness or any traumas that have occurred that have been trapped and locked within the chakra, knowing that all of our chakras are just crystalline beds that hold our memories of different experiences and emotional frequencies. Higher self, we are asking now to begin to dissipate, clear, release, and remove all of the records of pent up trauma and energy within this field, commanding now to identify any energy of courting of another person, a person who has put an energetic tether into our set, our second chakra, our sacred sacral chakra, any place where there has been any energy of siphoning, superimposition, spirit attachment, entity attachment, spells, curses, or superimpositions, any place that there has been any energy of another person overlaid upon us in any way, shape, or form. We are commanding that all of this has no right into our energy body or energy field or physical form any longer. In this moment, we are commanding that all of it has the right now to return home back to God's source light or to wherever it came from. It too has the choice to choose door number one or door number two, but it has no right to our chakra. It has no right to our body. It has no right to the second layer of our energy field. It has no right to be a part of our dream or our physical reality any longer. We are reclaiming our sovereignty of our soul and our sphere now. We are commanding this now, and so it is. Take a deep breath with that. (sighs) 
and allow that energy just to begin to filter the higher self. We're just asking for that energy to continue to soften, to clear, and to reclaim our space within our second chakra as we move that root chakra of the core of the earth up into our third chakra, which is the base of our lower part of our Merkaba field. And as you bring it up into there, just feel what you feel. Notice what you notice, experience what you experience. It may be open and free and expansive, or it may feel pressure or restrictive. Have you felt as though you had the right to be yourself in this life, express what you wanted to express? Speak out your ideas and creations the way you wanted to. Be vulnerable in front of others. This is the place that we have outwardly protected ourselves. And on the repressive side, we have either become shy and introverted or extroverted and a bully. And we can feel whether or not that's ever been in balance. And many times when we find that we've taken on so much energy for another person, we find that we've actually become introverted within our energy. But sometimes when we get triggered, we become extroverted as a defense mechanism, as a way to protect ourselves through energies like anger or overreactivity or throwing a temper tantrum that we can know that within this field of this field is holding all of the places of where we've been wanting to start to anchor in our I am presence into this reality. But it has mostly been dominated by the shadows and the belief systems and the filters and all of the lower vibrational energies and karma and baggage that we took on from our ancestors. So now just knowing that in this very moment, asking of your higher self, higher self, I am identifying everything within the center of my records. And within this, I am asking for all of it to be audited and any of it that does not belong to me, any of it that did not originate with me, I am commanding that it be returned now to wherever it originated across all time, dimension, space, and reality. I am asking now, higher self, please anchor in the root center of the earth energy and to my third chakra. So asking that light to just come and anchor in. And what it's doing is it's softening everything in there. And you know what everything feels like. And just ask yourself, is this something you want or is it something you are ready to clear? And if it's something you're ready to clear, just commanding higher self, I am complete with all of this now. Wherever it came from and however I learned these habits or these defense mechanisms, they do not agree with me any longer and I am ready to let them go. Cancel them, delete them, dissolve them. Just saying to yourself, I am free, I am free, I am free, I am free, I am free. And notice how that energy is actually starting to open a channel up into your higher aspect of your Merkaba, the top of your Merkaba. And as you're going into the top of your Merkaba, bring that up into your heart. And as you mix the energy of the root, your galactic root center of the core of the earth in your heart, notice how it's now mixing with the frequencies of the higher dimensional realms that you've stepped all the way down. Like this beautiful dance of lights and colors. And notice that there is a duality in there, that it, this is the place, your heart is the place where you came to do the impossible. The impossible, which is to anchor spirit, consciousness into density and matter. And your heart is where this happens. And just feel these two energies as they're co-mingling with each other. And I want you just to, with the next, take a deep breath. And on the exhale, I want you to take the root, the galactic root energy in your heart and just breathe it out to the top of your head, to that eighth chakra above your head. (sighs) 
And now from the top of your head, reconnecting to all of the galactic codes and on your next breath, breathe that down your seventh, sixth, fifth, fourth chakra and breathe it into now your soft and third chakra and into your softened second chakra and down into your tailbone area of your softened root chakra. And I want you to let it pour down your legs and out the centers of the bottoms of your feet, the soles of your feet and into your platform, your crystalline platform right underneath your feet. And if you, if this resonates with you, make this declaration. I make the declaration to be a vessel of living light. I make the declaration to anchor the cosmic codes of Trinity within me. With every breath I take, I will be the living expression of these light codes. With every breath I take, I will be the living gift. And now come back into your heart. And from your heart, grow that light. Feel it as it grows out the back of your body and out the front of your body. And notice about three feet all the way around you. It goes out much further than this, but just notice three feet all the way around you is your actual physical body. And expand that field out. And notice what color or colors it is, if you notice that. And now you're gonna take a nice inhale and on the exhale, just letting that light run down your shoulders, down your biceps, out your forearms and out the palm of your hands. And as it moves out the palm of your hands, you are going to just direct it into your aura field around you, into the room that you're in, into the floor that you are sitting or standing on, into the walls that are surrounding the room that you're in, into the building that you are supported by, into the land that the building is on, into the earth that this beautiful land is on that you are anchored into into the air that you are breathing and into all the water molecules that are around you. And notice that the rays that are coming out of your hand is living consciousness. And your hands may be burning with the light and just feel the radiance as it's moving through and let your intentions move through. And expanding it out. And in this very moment, I ask of each of you, if you feel it as a resonance in your heart, send this energy out to your loved ones, to your neighbors, to your coworkers, to the entire region of the continent where you are, send it out, keep sending it out and notice how, as we all send it out, if we start to send this wave out around the world, that all of our orbs are actually gonna start touching and they're gonna reach each other and they're gonna be a blanket across the entire planet. And let's send that through the molecules all the way up to the edges of the atmosphere and fill up the atmosphere of our planet. And in this moment, we can ask our higher selves, higher selves, we are asking that as we send these rays to the atmosphere of planet Earth, that we are asking that these rays create a fortified field around the atmosphere of this planet. Only frequencies, wavelengths, and radiations that are in divine right order that are in service to the law of one mission and that are in the alignment with elevating and uplifting all of humanity back into higher levels of consciousness that only those rays be able to penetrate the atmosphere and enter into our earth sphere and that any energy that is 
manipulative, harmful, creating any sense of domination or control over the population of Earth, that we ask that all of the frequencies from those sources be deactivated and that the shield that we are now amplifying around the atmosphere of the Earth does not allow any of those radiance or frequencies into this reality any longer. We are creating a source code field around the atmosphere of the Earth right now. And just send that radiance out even further. And as you do, notice how it can penetrate now into harmonic universe two, the fourth dimension, fifth dimension, and sixth dimension. And notice as you send it out, all of a sudden, it's as if all the veils begin to dissipate in our atmosphere of our, of our um, space around the earth. And you can start to see all of our guardian alliance in the skies, all commingled with the stars. And we ask of our higher self now to please allow us to amplify any of the frequencies that our guardian alliance has been directing toward planet Earth in order to stabilize us, uplift us, support us, and heal us and reconnect us in any way, shape, or form back into our higher God self. We are here now being the conduits to amplify that frequency now. And now let's take that frequency all the way down. So just imagine breathing it, breathing it again down your eighth chakra, seventh, sixth, fifth, fourth, third, second, first, out your tailbone, down your feet, out into the earth. And now let us direct our palms down towards the surface, towards the surface of the earth as we now connect these radiances to go down into the second dimension, first dimension, and into all the inner world beings. And just sending that radiation of love and light down through the dirt, through the roots, through the waterways, through the caverns, through the rocks, through the crystals, through the mineral kingdoms, through the creepy crawly kingdoms, all the way down and noticing our higher dimensional beings that have been holding and anchoring space within the core of the earth and saying hello to them and thank you. And if it feels correct for you to ask if they need assistance in amplifying any of their frequencies. And as you bring yourself all the way back into your first galactic root chakra again, feeling the earth again as your orb or your aura, your force field around you. And I'm gonna invite you just to allow yourself to be in the space as I slowly bring us back into more of our physical, tangible awareness. And just bringing yourself back into your body. And as we come back into awareness with each other, become aware of each of us here in the group again. And just becoming aware of each of us in the group again, I'm just gonna ask for any of you that you're in a space where you can turn your camera on and be back in the space here. that we can be holding each other's frequency. So keep holding that fi high vibration. And as we see each other, so just gently allowing yourself to connect with with each other in the group, either through just being able to see each other, 
It's gently moving through each and every one of us. And as we do, just keep holding that vibration. Notice how we can make it bigger. And as you're doing this, just the first impression, I want you to bring your awareness to your feet. Just bring 100% of your awareness to your feet. And I want you to notice your feet. If your feet had a shape, a color, a sensation, a physicality, notice, do they feel like your feet or do they feel a little bit different? I want you just to notice what body you're sitting in right now. I just want you to notice that each of you are sitting in one of your higher dimensional avatars right now. And so I want you just to tap in and become familiar with that body. Tap into your feet. Do your feet feel bigger or smaller? Do they feel more male or more female? How many toes do they have or do you not have toes? Does your body feel bigger than your earth body or smaller than your earth body? Do you have wings or no wings? If your skin had a color, what color would it be? If your nose had a shape, what shape would it be? Hair or no hair? Now tap into these feelings and just ask yourself, how do I move energy in this body? How do I move energy in the body? How do I sense others or my environment around me? What are some of your gifts and capabilities? And most importantly, notice your heart. Notice how you feel about yourself. Notice your level of confidence, assuredness. There is no doubt in who you are. You know what your purpose is, who you are, why you were created. And I also want you to notice that you know who you are so much. And you also know that others do other things. Others have other abilities. And it's a sense of co-creation. There's an admiration for everybody's different gifts. There's never a sense of feeling less than because someone else has something or does something that you may or may not do. It feels so good to just be you. And now just softly letting your eyes come back to the group again and let yourself see all of the group as their higher selves. Look at this amazing galactic team that you are sitting here with. Right now in the silence, we just said more in that brief few seconds of silence than we have in the whole hour together. Each of you is bringing a piece of the puzzle. And in this moment, by us connecting in this way, we are literally gifting 
everybody in the group what we have and are being gifted what everyone in the group has. So what I hold, I share, and now you have. <laughs>